Hi everyone at home, Aaron here. Hope you're having an amazing day so far. For today's physical activity lesson, we're gonna be exploring how being physically active actually helps your memory. Did you know when you're active, it actually charges up your brain a little bit like when you charge up your mobile phone, it charges up the batteries in your brain so that you can learn better and remember things better. And that's what today's lesson is all about. So let's get started. Now for our warm up. So for today's warm up, we're gonna explore our memory in a guessing game, an active guessing game. All right, so what we're gonna do is some movements and then I'm gonna do the old magician's trick of putting this blue bit of plasticine in one hand and I'm gonna ask you guys at home to see if you can guess correctly which hand it's in. We're gonna do that five times, so see how many points you get out of five, okay? But first of all, let's get active. So the first movement we're going to do is some star jumps, and we're gonna start with 10 star jumps. So let's start with our feet together, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Well done, everybody. All right, I'm gonna put the plasticine behind my hand. And on the count of to three, you need to guess which hand the plasticine's in. Which hand do you think it is in? Do you think it's in this hand? Or do you think it's in this hand? Okay, I want you to have a guess now. We're gonna count to three and I'm gonna reveal it. One, two, three. Let's have a look. Did you guess this hand? No, well done. That's a point if you guessed this hand here. Well done, okay. Let's go for our next movement. We're gonna do some squats. So we're gonna sit our bottoms back so they're level with our knees, hands out in front. Let's go. One, two, three, keep going. Four, five, stretching these muscles out in six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna do it in the front now. Which hand do you think it's gonna be in? All right. Okay, on the count of three, is it gonna be in this hand or this hand? One, two, three, time to guess. If you get this hand here, well done, you score a point, correct. Great work, everybody. So that's our second one. Our third movement, all right, we're gonna be doing what's called mountain climbers. So we're gonna put our hands on the ground, legs out, and we're gonna do 10 of these on each leg. Ready? And one, join in, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, like we're climbing a mountain. Eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna switch it as I'm getting up. Hopefully we're warming up now, huffing and puffing a little bit. Our body temperature's rising, which is good. Okay, on the count of three, you need to guess this hand or this hand here. One, two, three. Here it is, this one here. That's a point at home if you got this one. Okay, next activity or exercise that we're going to do is lunges. So the lunge looks like this. We're gonna step and drop, step and drop, okay? So we're gonna do that 10 times. Let's go, we're gonna do opposite legs as we go forward, okay? One, other leg now, two, just drop down, three, keep your spine nice and long, four, Five, six, seven, almost there. Doing a great job at home. Eight, nine, ten. As I come up, I've already swapped them. Like a good magician, you probably didn't even know that was happening. All right, guessing on three. One, I wonder which hand you've guessed. Two, three. This hand here. So you score a point if you guess this hand. Okay. Last movement for our warm up. We're gonna do some tuck jumps. So tuck jumps are when we jump up and we lift our knees up at the same time. It looks like this. We're gonna do that 10 times. And then we're gonna have our last guess. Are you ready at home? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. This hand. Or this hand, okay, one, two, three. 
Ah, this one again, you score a point. So, how many points out of five did you guys get then? Well done, thank you, hope you're feeling warmed up. Now for our main activity of the day. Now we're gonna practice balancing in a very, very fun way. What you'll need is either a bean bag, or if you don't have one at home, you can make your own by folding a sock in half and wrapping it up with uh, tape like this gaffer tape that I've used. All right, so this is one um, I've prepared earlier. All right, so I'm just gonna throw that one down to the side. I want you to follow along with me. If you're following me at home and you wanna keep going with some of these movements, what you can do is just press pause, have a go a few times at the movement, and then press play when you're ready to start again. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna stand as tall as we can. So we're gonna get our posture right. Now posture is the way we, we hold our bodies. And we wanna be as long from your hips to the top of your head. So that's my intention for this activity is to con continue to be as long as I can with my posture. And then I'm gonna place my bean bag on the top of my head. And I'm just gonna start by walking around. So you can go in a circle, you can walk in a number eight formation, any way you want. If you can look forwards, that'd be terrific. That's gonna help you. So the bean bag is staying balanced. If I'm used to going forwards, I might start to walk backwards, making sure I don't bump into anything I've got at home, any chairs or seats or, or tables that you might have. All right, looking good. All right, so now we're getting used to it. We're just gonna start jogging. It's gonna ch challenge this balance a little bit. I can feel the bean bag jiggling up and down just a fraction, but I'm gonna keep my posture nice and tall. All right, that's going pretty well. So I might start by skipping around and increasing my challenge a little bit. Being aware of how I'm holding my body. And now I'm gonna turn the skip into a hop. I might do a few hops on one leg. Just staying on, isn't it? And change and do a few hops on the other leg. Keeping that spine nice and long. Okay, well done. All right. Now I'm gonna move from uh, standing up. See if I can get down to ground level with this bean bag remaining balanced. So I'm gonna go from one knee to the next knee. And now I'm gonna try and balance with two knees and one elbow. I'm gonna see if I can keep my balance. I'm gonna to have to change the angle of my neck and my head for that one. And I'm gonna change the elbow. Oh, this is a bit more harder. That's good, I like having a challenge. Oh, I nearly fell off. Now I'm gonna go one knee and two elbows. See if I can do that. Oops, it fell off and that's okay. That might be happening to you at home. If that does happen, place it back up and start again. But that's a good time for me to change what I'm doing because the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it on the back of my head and I'm gonna go onto all fours. Now I'm gonna pretend I'm a four-legged animal. All right, so you can choose whatever animal that you like I might be my, my dog Charlie at home. We're gonna try and move our hands and our knees at the same time and balance that bean bag on the back of your head. Keep moving around, just look between your hands. And if you're feeling confident with that, we're gonna to get to this position and we're gonna lift our knees up and move hands and feet Move the same distance at the same time. I'm gonna get my way all the way back to the start. Excellent. See if you can now go from down the ground to standing. All right, slowly reach and get your bean bag. Whew, that was good fun, wasn't it? How did you go at home? Did you have a favorite way of moving with your bean bag? What was the most challenging? And I wonder if you can do that again at some stage, what other movements and ways can you add to what I've just done where you can balance your bean bag? Thanks for having a go at that today. We'll see you for our 
uh, end game and end, our end activity. Have you ever played that memory card game before? The one where you lay some cards out, you flip two over and you can see if you can match them. Well, we're gonna play the active version of that and we're gonna test out what I told you before at the start of the lesson, where being physically active actually helps your memory lots and lots and lots. And because it helps your memory, it actually helps your learning as well at school. So what you will need are two bean bags or socks. It doesn't really matter what colors. I've got two, I've got a yellow and a blue bean bag. It can be any color you want. And 10 pieces of paper or cardboard. All right, now I'm just gonna put the bean bags down to the side for a moment. On the back of each of these cards are some symbols. So I've got a plus symbol here. I've got a triangle. I've got a square. I've got a cross and a circle. Now I'm gonna randomly place them out on the ground. Now you can play this by yourself or you can play it with a, a brother or sister or a grandparent or a parent or whoever's around. It doesn't matter. If you need to shuffle them before, you can do that so you don't know which, which card's been placed on the ground. And then to start the game, what you're gonna do is run around the circle, around the cards, pick up two bean bags and you're gonna throw them and you're gonna try and land them on two cards. So wherever they land, the card closest or on the cards, you now get to pick them up, flip them over, there's a cross there, and there's a triangle. Now they don't match, do they? But if you can, remember where they are. So we've got a triangle and a cross. All right. Then you're gonna run another lap. All right, you're gonna throw them there and there, and we're gonna see what's underneath. We've got a plus sign, and we've got a circle, so a couple of different ones. I'm gonna do another lap now, because they didn't match, did they? So let's do another lap around. All right, here we go, let's try that one. I think I knew what that one was before, and let's try this one here this time. So. If my memory serves me correct, this one will be a plus. Yes, let's have a look at what this one is. Oh yes, that's my first pair. So I get to pick these two up, put them on the side, and I start again running around until I find all of them to, be, to match all the pairs, and then the game finishes. Now it's your turn to have a go at that activity Remember, you can do that on your own or with someone else. And remember the messages that we've been talking about today, how being physically active is great for your learning, whether you're at school or at home learning. So have some fun, and I look forward to seeing you next time.